And welcome back, you guys, to my NFL Weekly Picks for the 2015-2016 NFL season. I'm TJ Armin right here on YouTube, over at the underscore red over there on Twitter. And this is week number nine. If this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe, come back each and every week. Hey, I give you my best picks, and you can pick them for yourself. And you, too, might have a successful week like I have been doing the past couple weeks. And I'm going to try to stick with it. And get to number one in all my YouTube prognosticators. You guys know who you are. So come back each and every week, subscribe, and you'll be glad you did because I give you the right picks. Shouts to all my YouTube prognosticators. Not going to say any names this week. You know who you guys are. And for those, you can check down on my description box all the channels to my YouTube prognosticators. There's some real good pickers over there as well as give you good commentary and. They give you their best, just like me. So check them out, as well as you check me out right now. I'm doing something different this week. I'm going to give you four against the spread picks, as well as give you my straight up picks for week nine. My first against the spread pick of the week will come in the game between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. The Bengals are hosting the Browns again this season. Of course, that's their um, rivals in the AFC North. They're favorite by 11 points. This could be a, a, a interesting game because the Bengals 7 and 0. Hmm. Always the Browns give them trouble in Cincinnati. Jay Manziel will take the place of Josh McCown. It's going to be interesting because already Jay Manziel who really should be suspended because of his domestic dispute with his girlfriend but the NFL didn't do anything about it. Not just that, maybe they won't, but hey, who cares? It's a game going on. Let's get it down. Bengals lost uh, last season with the um, Browns when Brian Hoy was a quarterback. And Andy Dalton stunk it up at home in Cincinnati. This year, the Bengals have turned the corner. They're favored by 11 points. I'm going to tell you to take the Bengals minus 10 in Thursday Night Football. My next against the spread pick this week will go in the game between the Washington Redskins and the New England Patriots. The Patriots are 14 and a half point favorites in this game. This could be a little higher than what you know people are saying. So it's interesting to see what the Patriots are going to do because they're seven and zero and they could be on the way to a perfection. But let's not get over our head of ourselves because. Patriots can lose games when they know they shouldn't be losing. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to figure out what the Washington Redskins are going to do because they're just coming off that bye and they're fresh. But I don't think Kirk Cousins is going to have anything for that Patriots defense. I'm going to give you my bold prediction. I'm going to tell you that Kirk Cousins will throw three interceptions. The Patriots are favored by 14 and a half. I'm going to tell you to pay the, take the Patriots minus 17. The third game this week of the ATS picks will come in the game between the Carolina Panthers, who are home facing the Green Bay Packers. Panthers are two and a half point favorites in Carolina. Cam Newton, MVP candidate. He might ride all over that Packers defense. Hmm. Maybe Clay Matthews may put a stop to it. We'll have to see. Another bold prediction. Cam Newton's going to get sacked at least three times in that game, but the Panthers may cover the points. And it's going to be a close game because Aaron Rodgers plays worst game this season so far to the Denver Broncos, a 19-point a loss. They're not going to let what happened last week concur to them this week. So this is going to be a close game. I'm going to tell you to take the Panthers minus three over the Green Bay Packers in Carolina. And in my final against the spread pick of the week, it will be between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. The Eagles are two and a half point favorites in this game. Ah, revenge is what the Eagles want. Their big loss back at home back in early, was it early October? I think. But whatever, no, September. Early in the season. But... This is going to be a retribution game for Philadelphia as well. They're coming off their bye, and Sam Bradford and company need to get themselves together because I predicted they're going to have a 12 and 4 or 11 and 5 season. They are 3 and 4 right now, and they can't afford to lose any more games up to this or pretty much this season. Could end well before week 10 or 11. 
um, because they got the easiest schedule in the NFC East. The New England Patriots and the Arizona Cardinals stand in their way. They control their own destiny with the rest of the, you know, the games. Maybe with the Bills, maybe with the Dolphins, and even the Redskins as well as the Giants. They still have to face those two teams. The Eagles, if they want to win out the NFC East, they control their own destiny. They got to win. I'm going to tell you to take the Eagles instead of two and a half, take the Eagles minus three. Let's get on with our week nine picks. We got Thursday night football, the Cleveland Browns at the Cincinnati Bengals. Browns losers last week. Bengals winners last week. Bengals, like I said, should win at home against the Browns over there in Cincinnati. Sunday, the St. Louis Rams facing the Minnesota Vikings. Both teams winners last week, but uh, Nick Foles still have to prove me wrong that he can still throw long bombs. The Vikings should win this game at home because the Rams, they can't mess with touchdown, touchdown Teddy, and the emergence of Stefan Diggs should be instant, a fun game to watch. The Green Bay Packers are facing the Carolina Panthers. I told you to hit the Panthers at home to beat the Packers. I'm sticking with it. The Washington Redskins are facing the New England Patriots. Of course, I'm not even going to tell you who's going to win that game. P-A-T-R-I-O-T-S. Enough said. The Tennessee Titans are facing the New Orleans Saints. Tennessee loses last week. Saints come from behind win over the Giants. Saints should take this marching in back at home. Beating the Titans who fired their head coach and have an interim coach in Mike Malarkey. What difference does that make? And Metzenberg is not going to help out either with the losing calls for the Tennessee Titans. The Miami Dolphins are facing the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo had their bye and it was a total devastation to them in London. And this is going to be an interesting game there too. It was Miami who blew 19 point, excuse me, 29 point, 29 points. Who does that? <laughs> Dolphins got to get it together, but, um... Sean McCoy and company, we're not even sure if um, E.J. Mayo is going to start or will Tyrod Taylor does, but uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be cold. I'm going to go with the Bills in this one to beat the Dolphins in Buffalo. The Jacksonville Jaguars are facing the New York Jets. Jets coming from a losing loss and a weary, weary... Um, that lagging game against the Oakland Raiders and the Jaguars themselves had a bye in their back. This could be an upset this week because Ryan Fitzpatrick may not even play. We're not even sure because he got banged up. We'll find out. If he don't play, Jacksonville will win this game. If he does, Jets will win. Choose your pick. I'm going to take the upset and tell you to take the Jaguars over the Jets in MetLife Stadium. The Oakland Raiders are facing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oakland big winners at home against the Chargers and the Steelers tough loss at home against the um, Bengals. I'm going to keep my gut instinct and tell you to take the Steelers at home to beat the Raiders because I don't think the Raiders could really upset the Steelers. Or could they? Uh, no. Nah. Steelers should get this one at home against Oakland. Late games, the New York Giants are facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Both teams were, were not winners. Giants lose to the Saints. Buccaneers, big overtime win against the Falcons in their division. Interesting, to say the least. Jameis Winston, he's a fun person to watch. And, of course, you know, no big thing with Odell Beckham. Um... Giants could win this game, and then Tampa Bay could win this game at home. You know what? I'm going to tell you to take the Buccaneers to upset the Giants at home in Tampa. That's my pick. Bucks over the G-Man. The uh, Atlanta Falcons are at the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, 49ers blown out by the Rams in St. Louis. And, of course, the Falcons three-point losers to the Buccaneers. I think the Falcons will come back. Bounce back from last week's loss and put a poundering on the San Francisco 49ers. Colin Kaepernick is bench. Elaine Gabbert will start for the 49ers. Also, Vernon Davis switched teams. He plays with the Broncos. The Falcons should win on the road 
against the 49ers. It's nothing else said. Game of the week is the Denver Broncos facing the Indianapolis Colts. Peyton Manning going back to the Indianapolis for the second time in his career. Last time was a tough loss in Indianapolis against the Colts. This should be interesting because the Broncos are 7-0 right now and I think they can keep that status going because Andrew Luck and company, they're done. Chuck Pagano, I think he's done as a coach. They fired their offensive coordinator on Tuesday. There's nothing for this Colts team right now. And I said the Colts wasn't going to be much of nobody. So they're not even going to be a nobody against this Broncos team. So, Broncos, big winners on the road against the Colts. Sunday Night Football, the Philadelphia Eagles will face the Dallas Cowboys. I told you the Eagles will be three-point favorites. And my, against the red pick. This game could be close. So the Eagles should beat the Cowboys and split the season series. And on Monday Night Football, it's the Chicago Bears facing the San Diego Chargers are flushing the game. San Diego has only won one or two games. And then the Bears themselves have won one or two games. I'm not sure, but the case may be Jay Cutler and Phillip Rivers. I'm not sure who to pick in this game, but... The home team should win it, so I'm going to tell you to take the Chargers at home to beat the Bears. That's my week 9 picks along with my against the spread. Thank you for watching. You can teach you here on YouTube, over it on the store on Twitter. And don't forget to check my prognosticators. Good luck, you guys, with your picks this week. And to all, see you right back here next week for week 10.